Everybody's back for some more fitness. What up, guys? All right, so um, today, Thursday training. What we have going on, we've got some new movements, which will be super fun for you guys. Um, I actually did these today. The, that's not, that's not. <laughs> I actually did uh, these reverse lunge wall balls today, and they were kind of a fun variation on a wall ball, so we'll talk about that later. Uh, but for warm up, what are you gonna do? Two rounds, you're gonna do a 10 foot crab walk, front forwards, backwards. You're gonna do 10 tank squats, and then five inch worms. And we're gonna go through that two times just to start to open things up. So for the crab walk, what are you looking to do? Again, I'm gonna find this position, keep my hips up nice and high, and then my toes are forward, so I'm gonna walk forward for about 10 feet, trying to keep my hips up as high as I can, and then I'm gonna work backwards for 10 feet. Oh, okay, crap, grab it, grab it. So we're gonna walk backwards for 10 feet, and that's gonna be the start of your uh, warm up. After that, you've got 10 Kang squats. So for the Kang squat, we're combining a good morning and an air squat, so feet in your squat stance. Back's nice and flat. I'm going to hinge the hip back, so feel that hamstring stretch. Then I'm going to drop the hips, pull the chest up nice and tall, hold for a couple seconds, and then back up into a good morning, and then stand back up. So again, very deliberate movement. It's not an air squat. It's not any variation of a squat, so don't confuse it. Then you've got five inch arms, so just the usual. Uh, walking the hands up, so grab the toes, get that nice little stretch. Walk out, drop the hips. And then lay down there, grab yourself two push-ups from your knees or from your toes, and then walk back in. Okay, new toy, drop it. So, um, mm. we'll play with that later. Uh, so that's the first part of your warm-up, two times through. After that, you're gonna do a little three-minute AMRAP to get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing. You're gonna do five one-and-a-quarter air squats. You're gonna do five plank up downs and then 20 butt kickers, 20 high knees. So for the one and a quarter air squat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat all the way below parallel. You're gonna come back up to a half squat, back down, and then stand. And that counts as one. So at speed, it looks like this. All the way back up. So you're gonna do five of those. Next, you're gonna do five plank up downs. So again, that's a burpee to a plank position. So just here. Stand back up, do five of those, and then you do five or 20 butt kickers and then 20 high knees in face. Three minute AMRAP, just again moving through that whatever pace you see fit. Then our strength work is uh, a little different. So, what's gonna happen? Um, <clears throat> you are going to pause, so you're gonna do five sets. We're gonna do five tri hold squats plus seven normal squats. So for the tri-hold squat, what we're gonna do here is we're just looking for a lot of time under tension. So you can do these front, back, goblet, no weight, it's up to you guys. Um, how you load them is totally up to you, but the point is to stay true to the tempo. So the tempo, what we're looking for, you're gonna pause at three different points on the way down in the squat. So basic squat mechanics, first, feet just outside of shoulder width, you're going to keep your ribs pulled down so your belly is braced. I'm gonna send my hips down and back to start, and I'm gonna press my knees out. This is my first pause position, so right here, just into the initiation of the squat. You're gonna hold this for two seconds. Then, you're gonna sit halfway down. You're gonna hold this for two seconds. Then, you're gonna sit below parallel, and you'll hold this for two seconds. Then you're gonna stand almost all the way up. So you're not gonna reach full extension during the course of these five squats. My quads are on fire right now, and that's the point. So again, we're gonna spend a lot of time under tension. Your muscles are gonna be active the entire time. There's no relaxation point during those five squats. So I'm gonna do one rep now just at speed so you guys can see kind of what you're looking at. So again, all my mechanics for sound from here, one, 1,000, two 1,000, one 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 1,000, two 1,000, and that's going to be the tempo for the first five squats. So you're going to do five reps like that, 
Then when you're done, you're gonna do seven normal squats. So again, with your weight or without, whatever option you're doing, once you finish off that last squat, I'm going to fully extend and do seven normal squats. No tempo, full extension, all the good stuff. Again, you can load those however you want. So again, you can hold the dumbbell in the front rack, you can front rack a barbell, you can back rack a barbell, uh, wear a weight vest, anything like that is totally fine. They are going to be very difficult. Like, I just did two and my legs are feeling it. So just kind of keep in mind that you've got five sets of these. And for those of you guys that are doing Zoom classes tomorrow, we're going to be doing a set every two to two and a half minutes. So again, um, you know, just kind of keep in mind that when you're going through the loading here. So there's going to be a lot of, like I said, time and attention. So you don't necessarily need a heavy weight. And that's kind of the beauty of doing things this way. Uh, <clears throat> so that's our strength work. Once that is done, you are going to do some conditioning that is going to consist of two rounds with a round starting every 10 minutes. So what's going to happen? At 3, 2, 1, go, you are going to run 800 meters. When you get back, you're going to immediately do three rounds of 10 reverse lunge wall ball shots or thrusters, 10 wall ball shots or thrusters, and then 10 pull-ups or rows. So again, 800 meter run right into three rounds, 10 reverse lunge wall ball, 10 wall ball, 10 pull-ups. Once you're done, you rest until the 10 minute mark. And then at the 10 minute mark, you do it all over again. 800 meter run into your three rounds. So that's kind of the format of what you're looking at. So again, it's gonna be about a 20 minute workout. So with these uh, workouts, we're looking for today, probably about, I would say maybe a minute and a half of rest. So it's not gonna be again, a ton, but you should definitely have rest. So essentially what I would recommend is if you're gonna do this workout on your own, uh, time cap yourself at nine minutes. So go for your run and then go into your three rounds. And if you scale uh, inappropriately and maybe you, you are still working at the nine minute mark, uh, just stop so that you have a minute of rest and then you can finish the next one kind of going up to that 20 minute mark if you need to. Um, so let's talk scaling. So you get an 800 meter run. We're hopefully looking for about a four minute run here. So you're looking for about a, you know, an eight minute mile. So scale the distance to kind of stay in that time frame. If you're not going to go outside, you're going to do one minute of jumping jacks followed by one minute of butt kickers, followed by one minute of high knees. And that's gonna count as your 800 meter run. So again, it'll be three minutes. So a minute jumping jack, minute butt kick, minute high knees. Uh, and then after that, so again, we're gonna do our run or our scale, and then you're gonna go into three rounds, 10 reverse lunge wall balls and thrusters, 10 wall balls and thrusters, 10 pull ups and rows. So um, again, if you have a wall ball, I would definitely try and do some, uh, do this with a wall. So if you can, that's kind of the intent. Um, Otherwise, you can do it with thrusters, and you can do that with a barbell or with an odd object, so like a backpack, or you can do it with a kettlebell. It's totally fine either way. Um, but basically what we're looking for is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a reverse lunge into a target throw. So rather than do a squat to throw to the target, I'm going to do a reverse lunge throw to the target. And then I'll come back and I will change legs, throw to the target. Um, again, I did these in my workout today, so if you guys want to see a video of exactly what it looks like, feel free to go over to my Instagram. There's a video of me doing them today. Uh, like I said, it's exactly what it sounds like. So you're going to do 10 reverse lunge wall balls. If you don't have a wall ball, you can do this with a thruster. So again, um, uh, I can demo with a super wide grip. So what it will look like if I have a barbell, again, I'm going to go from a front rack, I'll step back, and then when I stand, I'm going to stand and I'm going to go to an overhead lockout position. Back down with the shoulders, lunge, drive up overhead. So just like a normal wall ball or a normal thruster, the goal is to use some of that energy coming out of the lunge to assist with the overhead movement. So it's not a reverse lunge plus a strict press. It's a reverse lunge where I explosively stand up and I try and use that energy to either press the bar overhead or throw the ball to the target. And again, you can do that with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So if you have one object, you'll do your 10 reps and you'll just switch arms at five reps. Mm -hmm. So again, if I have a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell, it'll be front rack. I'll do, boom, rep number five, switch sides, and then just keep going through my reps. So those are your options. 
Then, when you're done with 10 of those, you're going to do 10 normal wall ball shots or thrusters. So again, whatever uh, implement you have, you're just going to do 10 normal reps of that. So either 10 normal wall balls, 10 normal thrusters with a bar, or 10 thrusters with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. If you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, again, you'll do five reps on one arm, followed by five reps on the other arm. Uh, again, general points of performance um, for the reverse lunge, wall ball thruster, we're just looking for that lockout overhead or hitting the target. And then the bottom, we're looking for that trailing knee to touch the ground. And again, I'm gonna find my normal good lunge positions. So 90 degrees, both legs, chest up nice and tall, belly's braced the whole time. And then for my wall ball and my thruster, again, points of performance you're looking for is if you're doing a wall ball, the ball should block your field of vision the whole time. So every time during the squat, I should be looking straight ahead, and that wall ball should block my field of vision straight in front of me. So I should never be able to see past the ball as I go through here. Uh, and with all those movements, we're always looking to go below parallel, so get into that full squat position. Then your last movement of the free rounder is 10 pull-ups or 10 rows. And again, 10 rows, you can either do a bent over row with a barbell, uh, you can do a row with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, or if you have access to a pull-up bar or you want to use your door frame, you can do that as well. But again, just looking for 10 rows with a barbell. If you have an object like a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you'll do your nice flat back position, five on one side, followed by five on the other side. And then again, you can always use your door as a uh, pull-up bar. So again, support it underneath the side so that it doesn't have all the pressure um, on the outside of the door. And then just put a chair off to the side for a little bit of assistance if you need it. So that's your workout. Lots to think about, but once you're all scaled up, again, the goal is to be done by the eight and a half, nine minute mark. So keep that in mind. Uh, then at the 20 minute mark, you are going to accumulate a three minute wall sit in as few sets as possible. And you're going to accumulate a three minute dead hang, farmer's carry hold, or front rack hold in as few sets as possible. So if you have two kettlebells or dumbbells, you can just farmer's carry them. Uh, if you have a barbell, you could do a top of the deadlift hold. So you could literally just hold the top of a deadlift overhand and you could try and hold that for three minutes, you know, relatively challenging. Uh, you can hang, if you have a pull-up bar, hang from the pull-up bar for three minutes. Um, or if you don't have any of those things, take a backpack or some heavy object around your house and just make it as heavy as possible and front rack it. And you'll just hold it in the front rack position for three minutes. Um, and that's your little kind of cash up. So that's your accessory work for the day. Once that's done, only thing you got left is some mobility. So you've got a two minute pigeon pose each leg, and then you've got a two minute seated straddle. So again, pigeon pose, very common stretch here. Just looking to target the glutes, foot stays up near the waist here. And then you can either lay down on the ground or you can keep the chest nice and tall. It's up to you guys. Two minutes on each leg. Then when you're done there, we've got a seated straddle. So we've got legs out to the side, and we're just gonna try and dive down the middle, stretch out the groin, stretch out the hamstrings, and then we'll get a little bit of low back as well. So that's training for Thursday, so enjoy. And as always, tag us at Forge by Zeus, palace.ithaca, or across the Queens. Now we can squeak it. There she is. Here you go. <laughs>